So almost a year ago, I bought this laptop and I bought a laptop cooling pad for it. And I made an unboxing and trying video for that laptop cooling pad. This laptop cooling pad. Liang Star? I think that's how you say it. So, is it any good? Well, I'll get to that. First, we'll go over the features. It has two USB ports, one of which will be taken up by obviously powering this thing. You turn it on by turning these on and they click when they come on like this. And it has two heights adjustments right here. I'll show, I'll do one to show you. That's the first one. That's the second one. And in front, it has kind of hard to get to little nubs that stick out on each side to keep your laptop in place. So that's what the features are, but is it any good? Well, the USB ports aren't that great. If you plug something in there, it loses connection a good bit. At least mine did. You can't really rely on it very much. The power cord always seemed to let it run, but anything else wouldn't reliably stay on. The power switches feel cheap. They don't feel good. The whole thing kind of has a cheap feel to it, but it was cheap. So you might be wondering why I bought that one anyway. And let me show you. So if you go to Amazon and you type in laptop cooling pad, there is a sea of cooling pads here. How is anyone supposed to know which one to pick? Well, you might be thinking, just look at the reviews. Okay, well, the one that I bought has a 4.5 review score. You would think that'd be pretty good, right? Right? Well, when you're looking at these, you just kind of have to pick one. And sometimes when you can't find something or you're interested in something, you try YouTube and you search YouTube for videos and reviews. But I couldn't find any reviews for it. But I took a chance on it anyway. I don't know why. That video I made about it, I tried to make that video to be the video that I wish I could have found on YouTube. The unboxing video that I wanted to see for this laptop cooling pad. So I made that video. But now it's time to review it. And why now? Well, this thing is dead. I'm not sure what happened, but I think it fried. The top of it smells like burnt wires and maybe a little melted plastic. It'll still kind of turn on, but to do that, you have to wiggle this back and forth like this, and you shouldn't have to do that. And when you do that, it makes a weird little frying sound. So I don't want this plugged into my laptop. I'll try to demonstrate that a little bit, and if I can actually get it to do it, I will show it right here. So I'm gonna try to turn on the little fans. Well. See how they didn't quite turn on, and they're making a weird flash, and they're trying to come on, but they kind of can't. Let me see if I can let you hear what the sound sounds like. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's making kind of a weird groany frying sound. So, ten months later, this thing is no longer working. With it feeling just kind of cheap, and it dying less than a year, which I don't know what the lifespan of these things normally are, but I was hoping it would last a little longer than 10 months. So if you're looking for a laptop cooling pad, maybe skip this one. It's hard to recommend this thing. Now, I did plug this thing into, like, an external outlet thingy. I didn't have it plugged into my laptop. Hopefully plugging this into an external thing didn't have anything to do with it frying. I don't think so, but it may have, for all I know. But it shouldn't, should it? Should it? Maybe I'm just an idiot, I don't know. Probably. But there might be a light at the end of this broken laptop cooling pad tunnel. And that is, right here, I have a package. And right here, I have another package. And in that package is another laptop cooling pad. And hopefully, it works a little bit better. So, the end of this video will be the beginning of the next one. So right here is the new laptop cooling pad. The Kutek 5 Fans Laptop Cooling Pad. And hopefully this one will be better, but we'll find out in the next video. If you watch this video, I appreciate it. Thank you. And maybe I'll see you around on the internet again someday.